Here we are with a random video, and in this video, I will be talking about the latest drama with the Braxton. Here we go again. I mean, this is a true show, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. Oh, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. I mean, this is a true show. Oh, yes. Okay, first, let me give my condolences to the Braxton family. And I will get into that in more detail a little bit later. But let's start first with the fact that Tamara and Tawanda may be fighting over money. Money. Yes, and maybe. Because it seems that Tawanda is in serious debt. Now, we already know that she's known for stealing, you know, clothes from her sisters and never returning them. But it also seems, according to court documents, she has filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy. And in her list of debts, she has put that she owes Tamar $35,000. And she's only bringing in about $4,692.50 in monthly income. But her monthly expenses are just over $6,000. And this is just the tip of the iceberg, y'all. According to the documents, Tawanda owes over $500,000, but only has a little over $277,000 in assets. Now, there isn't word of what this new finding will do and how it would affect the rest of the sisters. But keep in mind, Tawanda has always been very private and quiet about her life and money. So I'm sure all of this will come as a surprise for some of the sisters, but of course not Tamar because it's obvious she knew all along. Now, a secret source, moving on to another subject here. Now, a secret source has also told me that Tony Braxton is too having money problems as well and is wondering what she's going to do about it. Even with the sold out tour, and I believe she dropped the movie on Lifetime. But at the end of the day, minus her wannabe princess extravagant lifestyle and her contract with her new handler, Babyface, it's running her about even with not much left over. You see, you all have to understand when you make a record and you go on tour, the record company is investing in you with their money. So at the end of the day, you have to pay that back. Which brings me to the next story of Tony's niece dying of mysterious circumstances. But let's put a pin on that for a second. Now, we're going to go to Tamar now. Tamar Braxton is asking the court to declare her status single immediately. Oh, yes. According to court document, she asked the court for a status-only divorce, meaning she and Vincent Herbert will be legally single. However... They still have the usual support and custody issues to work out. But Tamar makes it clear in the documents, and I quote, Petitioner seeks a dissolution of her marriage with respondent based on irreconcilable differences. Petitioner believes there is nothing the court can do to salvage or repair the marriage. Now, we all know that Tamar has been itching to get her divorce settled for some time now. Heck, since last October of 2017. Whereas she asked the judge to grant her a default judgment in the case because Vince had been blowing off by not responding to her petition for divorce because he still believes that they still can work it out. However, the divorce has been in limbo for several months and Tamara was warned several months prior to get it moving and to serve Vince with the legal docs, which she had failed to do for some time now because of Vince. You see, Tamar finally served him again on September 6, 2018, and Vince was given 30 days to respond in court. But Vince failed to show up or file court docs within the 30-day deadline, and Tamar Braxton wasted no time to file a motion seeking for the judge to wrap it up without Vince, which they can't do, by the way. With this, their divorce can become final once and for all. Oh. In these court documents, she isn't asking for any spousal or child support or anything of the nature. Vince, on the other hand, has not been seen around lately. Reports are saying that they think he's depressed and he never thought that Tamar and he would have actually divorced. I mean, Tamar filed for divorce back in October 2017, y'all. I mean, did you hear what I said earlier? 2017. This is 2019 now. You know, after nine years of marriage. Oh, yes. They've been going back and forth, you know, for some time now. But sources are saying that Tamar and her new rebound man are talking about kids and marriage. And she's not getting any younger. I honestly think Tamar should stay single for a while. But that is just my opinion. 
Vince, on the other hand, I'm not sure what he's doing, but the streets are talking and he has been pretty depressed. I mean, I'm hearing that from the streets that he's been very, very depressed. I mean, he really lost a lot, you know, with this whole separation and divorce with uh, Tamar. I mean, as a couple, they were starting to build an empire and becoming um, an iconic couple, you know, kind of like, you know, uh, Beyonce and Jay-Z and all those people. But, you know, shit happens, you know. I mean, together they may have been great business partners and build empires, but as a married couple and as a couple in general, they were toxic. I mean, it was just painful to watch them to be perfectly honest but anyways um let's go back to the unfortunate death of tony's niece lauren braxton now now according to reports lauren braxton the daughter of michael conrad braxton jr was reportedly unresponsive when the paramedics arrived now i don't know if she had health problems prior to this but i will say that upon this happening i had received from a source close to tony saying that tony has been acting weird and having money problems this person even noted that she thinks tony elite contract is up and she's looking for a way out or just a way to get money such as selling bodily organs and so on i mean they've been doing this for a long time and they make millions from it i did a video about it i will leave the link below i pray that this isn't the reason why this girl died and we're just not going to hear any more details because of the foul and the unexpected and mysterious way she did die and they just don't want to you know make this one big scandal so i don't know but all i know is is that it has been reported and i repeat that tony braxton was acting very very funny lately i don't know who this person was that was texting me this entire time but she was giving me a by bit of what tony was doing and how she was acting and she was a little bit scared. I don't even know if that was the girl that was texting me. I have no idea. All of a sudden, she just kind of stopped. I, I don't know. Just tell me your thoughts below. And my prayers do go out to the Braxton's family. Bye. There's more. Don't forget to check out and sign up for my website. You can get an inside look at a listed video and a sneak peek at my upcoming video script. You can also see the making of one of my videos. Mm -hmm. Even have a personal chat with me and much more. So become a part of the Truth Show family. There is no fee, just donation. You can help me build and recruit more leaders and open more eyes. Oh, don't forget to follow me and or like me on Twitter. Facebook and Instagram. If you want to listen while working out or driving, listen to me on SoundCloud and Spreaker. All the links are below. Hope to see you all soon. Hey, but there's more. Check out these.